Guys, we are playing a new Steam game. Well, it ain't a new Steam game, but we got it off Steam. Me and Tony here, we're going to make decisions together on the game. So, I don't know what we're in for. So, as you can see, it's what we're playing. Let's get started. Here we are. She's late, Tony. About like a woman, ain't it? I experienced some problems lately, and we weren't able to hang out in a while. I managed to get things working so I can spend time with her. But, he is only temporary, and I don't know how long he will last. Hey, Junga? Sorry, did I keep you waiting? Look at the hair, Tony. Outfit, I guess. For about half an hour. A guy's supposed to say, not at all here, you know. I didn't know that. I was notified about this change in society. I wasn't notified. My bad. They didn't bother because they know you're not going to follow it anyway. Damn right. A-I. A-I. We want to go arcade park a mile, Tony. Since we're playing this together, we're going to make decisions together. Park or me? It'll be park or arcade. Ah, uh, me is the park. park. So we're going to the park. Because it seems like a nice park. We can watch the squirrels play. With the nuts. Easy now. Let's just till here for a bit. You're just too lazy to walk, aren't you? I didn't see that coming. You can call me if you want to, that's cool too. Nah, it's fine here, let's enjoy the park. Damn straight. You're just too lazy to call me, aren't you? I guess that's one of them thing, one thing in common. Here's a good spot to set. I'm surprised it's a bit chilly despite the sun being directly on top of us. Probably fall. Yeah, nice weather indeed. It's so nice outside, and you still like to stay indoors the whole day. Outdoors is nice, but indoors is nicer. She giggles a bit. How have you been? Same old same. I bet you still only eat instant food, don't you? More or less. Come on, June. What nutrition can aid in hot water give you? It's fine. You're learning how to cook for me anyways. Sure, I serve you my specialty dish. Bunt rice balls. She said balls. <laughs> she said balls. <laughs> yes, every day. You kill me. We haven't seen each other in so long that I have lots of things to share and ask of you. And I don't even know where to start. Are you still living in that torn down apartment? Are you? Yeah, but it's a bit better now. They we invented a few things. I think my greatest story about that place is the people, though. Most of them are old people. They should move to a safer place. One good thing about I is that she can be talkative. It saves me the trouble of trying to keep the conversation alive. I just asked a question and she manages to talk for hours about it. How about work? How's it been? Total mess and probably will continue to be. Our boss gives us impossible tasks and most of us are pretty much fed up with it. A lot have quit already due to that and the rest are demoted. Then I was toy. My co-workers, who would flack off until the last minute. He's such a troublesome guy makes me make things harder for this. She said harder. Just want that out, Tony. Sometimes he would even ask the co-workers to do his part. Anyway, listen to her while noticing how much her expression changed since mentioning that toy guy. About this one time we got the, the what? Processes all mixed up. Her boss was furious, then Troy. She paused mid-sentence and stared at me. What? Oh, I see. What is it? You're jealous, aren't you? It's written all over your face. Huh? What are you talking about? Anyway, so what did this toy guy do? See, that tone of voice, it gives it away. Leave me alone already. Come on, admit it. I stare at her and wait for her to finish laughing. What happened to the job offer you got from the other company? All that, I turned it down. I need to be relocated for a job. 
I know we want, want a new settlement and lifestyle for just a little bit of increase of income. It's not worth it. See, she's smart. Money ain't everything. That's fine. I bet you get another job. Off of soon. Maybe even closer. You miss me that much already? She really enjoys making me a mint and bells and things. Yes, so I can try to bump fast. So, I can try your bump fast. <laughs> Fucking quit it, Tony. I didn't do it. I'm trying to say a sentence here. So I can try your bump last balls already. <laughs> she said balls again. We continue talking and laughing about random things and totally lost track of time. After a while, the conversation falls down and she stands up. One second. What are you going? I just get something to eat. Before I knew it, it was already noon. Time really flies when I'm with her. Bought us some teriyaki. I also saw a mocha stand on the way back. I bought some. You like these, don't you? That's great. Thanks. How much do I owe you? It's not much. Don't worry about it. But if you insist, then I guess you owe me a favor. What favor? I haven't thought of it yet. I'll save it for later. Well, as, you know what that is. As long as it's something I can do. Don't worry. It won't be that bad. She winks at me and she eats a teriyaki. I hope that's what that word is. Now I'm worrying about it. I won't ask for something you can't do, you know. That's a why. Okay, maybe a bit, but not so much. I don't trust you. She laughs as she eats a, the last piece. Well, now we're done eating. Let's head to the mall. She grabs my hand and starts walking towards the mall. That must have been a close mall. Well, we must have been in the mall parking lot. It's Apparently. Far. It takes a lot of time, energy, money to shop with I. That is normal go. You know, if you got a girlfriend, you might as well just dish out that money. That to, you know, just saying. Normally I would avoid the shopping mall like a plague, but I make today an exception. As with any pretty girl, you make anything an exception. Wow, they're having a big sale, Tony. Oh shit. We just stepped into the shopping mall's entrance and she already pointing at the clothing store. Let's check it out. She pulls me towards the store, then proceeds to nearly examine every part of every clothing. Like a detective, looking for evidence. She picks up a white dress and flower designs on the bottom half. One second, she heads to the fitting room to try it on. How does this work? It's hard for me to answer this question because I have zero sense of fashion. I'm the type of guy who would wear anything that fits my size. So whenever she asks me this question, I rely on the magic word, cute. I think it's cute. She looks at it in a mirror. Really? Isn't it a bit plain? I touch my chin with my right hand. This is my left hand. <laughs> As it weak in the clothing, I find it cute. I take it. She goes inside the fit room, take it off. She then walks to the cashier, pay for it. Is that all you need from this store? Pretty much. They don't have much on anyway. Then we continue to walk around the mall. She likes a chunk of steel while stores are strong magnets. She's like a chunk of steel while stores... Okay. Whenever we are walking, she slowly strays towards a store, sometimes without her even knowing it. Hey, June, this looks good on you. She holds up a shirt with a spider print. I don't really need new clothes. I buy it for you. I'm not wearing that. She picks another shirt up. Thought I buy myself one as well, so we match. That's not the problem. I know it's no use when she makes up her mind. While she's paying, no, while she's paying for the shirts, my eyes wander around to see a computer store. Let's head there when we're done. When you're done, I point it with my thumb. Oh yeah, you did say you needed to buy something. Yeah, I'm going to see if they have cheap parts of especially hard drives. The programming I'm developing is bigger than I expected. She silently follows me into and around the computer store. Just a few seconds, I'm ready to pay for my items. That was fast. That's how you're supposed to shop. No, you're not even checking if they work or not before you buy them. That's what warranties are for. That is mad. I go to, I go to the cashier and pay. What do you want to go next? I saw a toy store over there. Let's check it out. We enter the toy store and immediately heads to the crush area. Look at all these cuties. I want them all. Go for it. As long as you have the money. What? I thought you were paying. 
Oh, keep dreaming. I'm kidding, but seriously though, that's so cute. I wonder what I should get. While she's busy peeking and fushy, I head to the next aisle for the keychains up. I saw a spider keychain. Ah, she would love this. I quickly go to the cashier to pay for it, then walk back to I, who can't decide what to get. Hey, I bought this for you. I showed the keychain. That's so cute. You didn't have to. It's fine. It wasn't that expensive anyway. She looks really happy about the cheap keychain I got her. I walk and ask sees a bookstore. Hey, let's shop here for a bit. I didn't know you like reading books. Well, not those kind of books. I'm actually starting to get into cooking. I see you're looking for cookbooks. Yeah. What kind of dishes do you like? I tried to cook for you sometime. Roof bugging. That's a big word. Not in my dictionary. Nope. Whoa, chill. Why don't we start with bacon and eggs? Why even bother asking? She smiles as she takes three beginner cookbooks. While we're walking around the hill talking about firework display happening tonight. Firework display, you heading to them too? I kinda wanna see it. It's that, what is it? They'll be doing firework displays this time of year since I was a kid. Really, can we go? Sure, let's hurry you up and get to the spot I know of. It takes a bit of walking to get there. Plus, to go up a hill. You know a hill? You go like his people. The sun has just been set when we arrive. And it's starting to get dark. Good, it's just hit us here. Oh, you're right. This is a good view. We sit on a bench and wait for the show. Not long after, dots the lights shoot towards the sky. Flowy fade to bloom like flowers of different colors. The chill of the crowd at the foot of the mountain can be heard. A, A, whatever her name is, face is filled with happiness. Just watching the fireworks. I wish I could last forever. I wish this could last forever. No, but the other one would be a good wish too. Mm -hmm. But I'm running out of time. She looks at me with a side look. It's time, isn't it? Almost. Don't worry, it won't be long. I'm fine. You really shouldn't bother hanging out with me. Don't say that. After all, I'm just... Have you heard the, the tunnel test? It's a violation of a machine's ability to exhibit a tail ship, whether it can act or speak like a human. But however a good machine becomes, however indistinguishable it is from humans, it will never be an actual human being. Just like I. No matter how good her programming is, and no matter how much I identify it myself, I deny it myself she would never be real. We aren't in the same dimension in reality. She will continue to dwell outside the artificial world that I created. Ah, uh, the program had crashed again. As expected, it couldn't go on any longer than that. And we need to come up with a stable fix soon. What am I doing with my life? I didn't see that ending coming, did you? No. He was playing a com computer game. Just, you know, like we just did. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Check out the other videos on my channel. And until next time we see you in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Take care now.